He's the only other candidate for the presidency and now he's conceded defeat. The election process in itself and the democratic goal in the election was violated and lacked impartiality. I'm telling you with respect to the people, we cannot give any credibility and we cannot believe the figures declared until now about the participation of the voters in this election. Abdel Fattah el-Sisi is only waiting to be sworn in once the official results are through. It was built to be a celebration of democracy, a chance to show the world that the majority of Egyptians were in support of the army's political roadmap announced following last year's coup. But when polls opened on Monday, the reality appeared to be much different. Scenes like these empty polling stations across the country were a sign that a large section of society chose to ignore calls by Egypt's military-backed government to take part in this election. The low turnout forced officials to declare day two of the election a national holiday in a bid to increase participation. But that seemed to have little impact with Tuesday witnessing a similarly low show in voters. That prompted them to close shopping malls eight hours early with public service announcements made calling on shoppers to go and vote instead. Even mosques were used with calls blaring from minarets with a message, if you love God, then go and vote for Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. Al-Sisi is one of only two candidates contesting these polls. He's the former army general who led the coup which ousted the first democratically elected president of Egypt, Mohamed Morsi. But voter numbers still remained low, so the election commission announced late on Tuesday that it was extending the poll by one more day, claiming that hot weather had prevented many from taking part. But the last time Egyptians voted in a president was in May of 2012. The weather was identical, the pictures though were not. Back then, long queues of voters became the defining image of what was seen to be the transition to democracy. The apparent low turnout in this year's election is being interpreted differently by all sides. The anti-coup alliance and the Muslim Brotherhood have hailed it a victory, while others say it's a blow for the coup leaders. The military rule in Egypt is at its weakest point. The coup is actually toppled, and it's toppled by the empty ballot boxes. The results are scheduled to be announced on June 5th, but a winner could be announced much earlier if votes are finished being counted. The outcome of this election has never really been in doubt, with all signs pointing to a landslide win for al-Sisi. But while he may have been assured of victory, he himself said that he wanted 40 million Egyptians to turn out and vote. In the battle for legitimacy, al-Sisi and his supporters want to show that those participating this year are more than those who took part in 2012 elections that brought about Mohamed Morsi. In many respects, this election is more about the number of those voting than it's about the candidates. Amr Saleh Al Jazeera.